Greetings Traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Newcrest and we're building my apartment along with an apartment complex. So just a quick disclaimer, this is not how my real life apartment looks like, but it's rather a reimagining of what it would look like if I had the capabilities and freedom and money of course to redecorate it however I want. So I definitely went wild with the interior and I absolutely love how it turned out and I'm hoping you're going to enjoy it as well. But yeah, my real life apartment is pretty much still stuck in the college student dorm era it looks like it's just an apartment rented by university students even though I graduated ages ago but I don't know why it still looks like that however I did match my apartment's floor plan to a T kinda I did some few changes but nothing too significant but I'll talk about that later because you can't actually see the apartment right now the exterior of the building also doesn't quite match the real building, but some elements of it do. Like the roof here with the balcony in the middle, we actually have that in the real building and it's quite interesting actually. And the stone walls are also a perfect match. Um, the little balconies that I'm going to add and also the windows of the apartments are pretty accurate and the real-life building also has shops on the ground floor like one shop on either side of this thing in the middle although in real life one of them is a menswear shop and the other one is a falafel shop that actually sounds pretty weird hearing myself pronouncing it like that because it's not pronounced falafel like the rest of the world pronounces it, but it's pronounced falafel, which is a much easier pronunciation if you ask me. I always find it funny how non-Arabs pronounce Arabic words like falafel and oh, another one is hummus, like seriously you guys. But you know, I'm not gonna rant about that right now. I. I honestly don't blame you guys because Arabic is a pretty difficult language. Um, so where was I? Uh, yeah, the other shop is a falafel place and in The Sims I made them as a small cafe and an antique shop which is actually quite an interesting idea. Another detail that I took from the real building is the tunnel way that's in the middle of the ground floor. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it's pretty popular in Syrian buildings in the city to have like this tunnel that connects two streets together and goes through a building. And it's specifically for people, not for cars or tr any form of transportation. And it's pretty common to also have shops along the tunnel. Um, so that's why I added like windows all along the tunnel length. Not right now, obviously, but I'm gonna add those in a bit. So those are like the windows and entrances to the shops. So as you can see here, I opened it up so that it would go to the other side of the building, the back side. And I'm just going to add like a few seating areas here. So I was thinking that they're probably for the cafe as well, like outdoor seating areas for the cafe. In Syria, these tunnels are called Abara, which translates to ferry, actually. So the same way a ferry would transport people from one side to the other of a body of water, these, like, land ferries transport people from one side of... from one street to the other. So that's why that's what they're called. As you probably noticed, the building doesn't have any windows on the sides except for this one in the attic. 
And that's because my apartment also doesn't have any windows on that side, like the wall is pretty much closed off. So I didn't add any windows here just for the ac accuracy of the floor plan. So I like to make it more interesting, I added these billboards and this beautiful ivy from Harry just to make it like not so plain and boring. So from this whole apartment complex I only uh, furnished my apartment and I think there are a total of five apartments. So you have the freedom to furnish the other apartments if you want to. And if you do, then please send me some pictures because I would love to see what you guys are gonna do with them. Uh, you can either like DM me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever so I can see them. And if you can see this building that's like right next to this one, that's a build that I did not too long ago. It's called the Juliet Triplex, also inspired by one of the apartments, uh, apartment complexes where I live. And it's one of my favorite builds. I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend you to check it out if you haven't yet. It has three apartments in total and I furnished all three and they're pretty huge. And they, it also has, I think, two shops on the ground floor. Um, I think one is a clothes shop and the other is a cafe, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna link it for you in case you wanna watch it. So for this building, if you wanna like play with, with it the way I intended to be play, played with, then you're gonna need the live-in business mod from Little Miss Sam that would let you run a business on a residential lot in case you want to either open the cafe or the antique shop. And if you want to also fill the other apartments, like furnish them and have Sims living in them as well, then you can either play with the door lock system in the game, like have um, multiple Sims in your household and put each family in one of the apartments and then just lock the doors in the way that the other Sims wouldn't go inside. Or you can probably get roommates for your sims to fill the other apartments. So now I'm gonna do the cafe and the antique shop which is pretty cluttered. But I absolutely love how the antique shop looks. So I hope you don't mind how cluttered it is and chaotic. And I'm gonna see you when I start furnishing my own apartment.
Did you miss me? <laughs> um, so this is my apartment. Well, not really, but I wish it was. But this is the exact floor plan of my apartment. These are the exact walls, almost. Mine are even more run down than this. But these are the ones from City Living that look kind of dirty on the bottom. And the floor kind of looks like my real floor. I couldn't find anything in the game that looks like it exactly, but this one is pretty close. And what else? Um, these wooden panels on the wall, like in the middle. In my real apartment, there aren't any walls separating the living room from the bedroom, so we just have like wooden panels um, and wooden doors in the middle but it isn't a real wall and it has these windows on the top just to let some light and air in because there aren't any other windows in this room and like you can see I'm going crazy with the decorations like it's a pretty cluttered place but that's how I like it actually and I love walls that are just filled with paintings like you know how Hogwarts staircase is filled with paintings all over it that's what I love I love having these walls all around the house if it's possible so remember how I told you that I kind of changed a few things about the floor plan well I gave myself the liberty to cheat and make the bathroom and kitchen like slightly bigger than my real life bathroom and kitchen you're gonna notice that in the sims there are they are quite small and like they're even smaller in real life you're probably gonna not believe that but they really are smaller in real life like here in the sims i think i made the bathroom a six by two but in real life it's even smaller it's just a two by one like maybe slightly bigger if half tiles are possible then it's probably like a two and a half by one and a half but that's not a thing in the sims like you guys my shower is literally above my toilet there is no room for anything so if you're gonna shower in my bathroom you're gonna have to sit on the toilet because there is no other way that's how small it is and the kitchen in the sims is um like two by something i'm not really sure how much but my real life kitchen is also like much smaller than this it's also like a one and a half by I don't know like a three and a half I don't have counters for starters I have no counters in my kitchen just one that's next to the sink but I don't use it as a counter because I don't have any counter space so I just have my dishes on that and I also only have one cupboard where I have to put all the plates and everything but thankfully I don't really have that many things and this is not an apartment that I consider like my home it's just something temporary so I don't really need that many things so this is enough for me i do struggle sometimes when i'm cooking but yeah other than that 
um, I'm pretty okay with how small my apartment is. Like on the bright side, the living room and the bedroom are actually kind of big. And their sizes here in The Sims also match the real life apartment. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is how big my apartment is, like the living room and the bedroom in real life. Um, another thing that I did with my bedroom is I got rid of my roommate. <laughs> so if you're watching, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just imagine that this is how my apartment would be if I lived here by myself. I also gave myself two desks. One is like my gaming slash workstation and the other one is like a vanity table slash dining table because I don't have a dining table in the house. And I also gave myself a double bed even though my real bed is a single bed and I also prefer single beds. But I went for a double bed because, I don't know, it seemed more adult-like, I guess. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider subscribing. I upload every Friday, I guess. It was Monday and Friday, but now it's just Friday. And I'll see you again in my next one, hopefully. Bye!